Hey everyone, again, my name is Bridget Sullivan. I'm the coordinator for Disability Support Services. This is the second portion of the presentation for faculty. Uh, again, I'm breaking up the original PowerPoint into different segments um, so that they can be watched individually um, or all together. This portion of the presentation is going to focus on myths surrounding disabilities um, and higher education. Um, the first one is mental health. So, mental health can be uh, really complex and there are a lot of myths and uh, preconceived notions that float around. Um, oftentimes we hear things like people with mental illness can't handle work or school um, when in fact uh, that's just not true. Uh, there's plenty of people with mental health conditions who have full-time jobs, they go to school, they're active in their community um, and, and mental health is not a kind of complete barrier to living a fulfilling and a full life. Um, oftentimes we hear in the news, people with mental health conditions are violent and dangerous. Um, when in fact, again, that's also just simply not true. Um, in fact, people who are living with a mental health condition are much more likely to be a victim of violence. Um, they have uh, a victim of violence rate four times that of the general public and that uh, one in four individuals living with a mental health condition will experience some sort of violence in any given year. Uh, so that's really important to note that mental health conditions do not necessarily mean that students cannot handle work or school or that they will be violent. Um, those, those myths are just simply not true. So ASD or Autism Spectrum Disorder, some of you may be more familiar with the term Asperger's, which is um, no longer used as a diagnosis, though many, many students on the autism spectrum may identify as having Asperger's, um, as that was likely the diagnosis they were given as children. Uh, one myth is that uh, individuals with autism are unable or unwilling to form meaningful social relationships. Um, that's not true. Uh, there's many, many people who have difficulty with social interaction, um, but that doesn't mean that they can't have close social relationships, um, fall in love, have children, um, really the same things that the rest of us do. Um, another myth is that all individuals with autism have savant abilities, um, and while there is certainly a higher prevalence, um, that is not uh, necessarily true of every person on the autism spectrum. A uh, third myth is that people with autism are cold and lack empathetic feelings. Again, simply not true. Um, oftentimes, the feelings can be expressed in ways that are just a bit harder to recognize, which is kind of where this myth comes from. Um, but that does not mean that they lack feelings and they lack empathy. So learning disabilities, I know there's a lot on this slide here. Um, and I certainly won't read it all through. But learning disabilities are complex. Oftentimes, um, we think of learning disabilities as something that children, um, children are affected by. Um, but adults don't grow out of learning disabilities. Um, they continue throughout an individual's lifespan um, and can even intensify in adulthood as uh, demands change uh, particularly with our students that we're working with here, um, many are undiagnosed, um, which is something that can be especially tricky um, because students have kind of lived their whole life learning to cope with their learning disability and have never been formally diagnosed, have never necessarily formally gotten support. Uh, so that's really important to, to recognize um, students with learning disabilities are quick to reveal their status so they can have an advantage in the classroom. Um, oftentimes you hear people questioning whether or not a learning disability becomes a way to work the system. Um, that is certainly um, a myth that's out there and I would argue that um, no disability becomes a way to work the system. Um, many students don't want to disclose or choose not to disclose disabilities, particularly learning disabilities. Um, and the students who do disclose often wish to remain anonymous. So I would say that um, more, most often they are not trying to work the system and kind of anybody that has that kind of widespread mentality about it would 
would do well to kind of re-examine that notion and really think about where that um, notion is coming from. Um, there's a lot on this screen and I really don't want to read the entire thing to you. I think that, that would be um, doing a disservice. Um, if you wish to read through the whole thing, please feel free. Um, but I'm going to move on to the next slide now. And that's the end of this segment of the presentation. Again, click forward for the next segment and uh, you'll be able to continue on with the presentation.